this is a model of the larynx. Um, this is the, the passageway for air. This is also where the voice box is located. The large cartilage of the larynx is called the thyroid cartilage. The laryngeal prominence is known as the Adam's apple, and it's the, the part that sticks out on the anterior surface. As you go down further, the next major piece of cartilage you get to is the cricoid cartilage, and below that you see the C-shaped rings of the trachea. You can see those same structures on this model. Here's the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, and all of the tracheal cartilages. If you look at the back, <coughs> the thyroid cartilage does not really um, extend into the posterior view, but the cricoid cartilage is actually quite large on the posterior surface. So do be aware that the cricoid cartilage sticks up in the, the back. Here you can see the opening where those C-shaped cartilages don't actually converge. That allows for the esophagus to sit quite close to the trachea, and allow, that allows for the esophagus to enlarge or expand as the food passes through the esophagus during swallowing. The tracheal cartilages are there to make sure that the airway stays open as the lungs are inflating so that the suction created in the lungs does not collapse the airway. If you look at the other major cartilages here, the epiglottis up top, this is going to be the cartilage that allows for um, the trachea to close off or to cover up during swallowing. So as we swallow, the thyroid cartilage or the entire larynx moves upwards. The epiglottis hits against the base of the tongue and it gets pushed down. So as the food is coming in as you're swallowing, the opening to the trachea, the glottis, is covered up and the food that comes in is forced down into the esophagus. You can see the epiglottis here on this model as well. The two cartilages on the back uh, the two sets that you have here. Uh, the corniculate cartilages are just these tips, and the arytenoid cartilages are the large cartilage pieces that are shaped like the letter A. Let me show you the inside. If you look down, I don't know if you can see that, but if you look down past the epiglottis, you can see the white strips of material. Those are the, um, the vocal cords. The vocal cords plus the space in the middle are called the glottis, so that is the literal airway. As the air is moving through the glottis and passing those vocal cords, um, that is going to create sound. Here you can see it from, from another view. These are the vocal cords themselves in white. Those are collagen fibers. And then this is more of a fleshy material underneath called vestibular folds. Thank you. All right.